everyone. I'd like to share a journal. This is made out of a paper bag. I watched a video of someone that had made a journal out of one paper bag and uh, I'll kind of show an image of that. And she had created kind of a journal for just putting things in that kind of like a smash book journal or just embellished it with all kinds of things in it and uh, mine kind of turned into more of a little bit of a five signature journal where hers was just a one and I kind of altered mine a little bit different from hers so but that idea is what kind of launched this journal uh, it has like I said five signatures and uh, these are the paper bag handles this is a belt closure I'm gonna open it up And the, the belt just comes completely off. This wrap around with the handles is a piece of wallpaper. I bought a journal from Marie Blundell and she had this image on the front of her journal. I just, I just fell in love with that image so I did find one online and used hers was black and white mine was color but I, I, I kind of added her on the front sewed around the edges um, it says write your thoughts and when you open it up the handle is encased inside of some fabric here it's a little tuck spot here that has this little muslin printed journal spot tucked inside Uh, this is one of the paper bag pages. I can't even explain to you how exactly she had done it together. So that's why I'll link the video below how she created the journal out of the paper bag. It has a fabric pocket and a lace pocket. A journal card tucked inside the fabric pocket. I used a, kind of a rusty vintage theme for my journal cards. And there's another one tucked in here. That's kind of a little rusty handle image for the pull tab, some trim on the bottom, stenciled Inspire, it's another journal card, a little stamping on the back, there's some paper doily pockets laced, tiered with some lace pockets for tuck spots, a little tag in there. Had some coffee filters that I added for pockets, this has a tag hanging, fabric covered tag, and a a little owl under the, like a belly band, I suppose you'd call it, with some cheesecloth. The um, coffee filter has a pocket, has a little journal booklet inside with the girl in the image. There's some white washing done on there, toned down the brown a little bit. It's a ruffle of some sheer brown fabric on the edge here. A little journal card tucked inside with little fabric and this was a little cutting off the sheer fabric it created some pockets for some little tags uh, this is a tuck spot a journal card a little paper clip charm hanging on this image um, kind of tucks in these little tuck spots some Places to write. It's got to leave places to write. I added some pages inside my paper bag journal, which she hadn't. She just used the paper bag completely and covered the covered the paper bag with papers. There's some trim on the edge. <clears throat> Burlap pocket. There's the center of the signature. Some embellishments. Some more tuck spots. Some trim. A piece of ephemera. A little belly band, fabric belly band with a little old stamp in there. Another tuck spot here. She's with courage. Piece of ephemera with some fabric sewn on. Some little embellishment on the bottom of that pocket. So you can write here and on the back of this page. A 
There's another little tuck spot and journal card. This is another one of the coffee filters. It's some fabric and some stamping layered on there. There's a little journal card underneath this image. Some muslin on the edge. Some stenciling and some my paper bags. When I started to make the journal, the paper bags seemed to be so stiff. And I didn't really like them to be so stiff. So uh, there was kind of a technique you can use with glycerin and water and kind of softens the paper and you crinkle it up and gives the paper or cardboard, cardstock uh, kind of a leathery feel. So that is what I ended up doing to my paper bag papers and then I inked the after I crumpled them and let them dry then I inked the you know it gives you the brings out the crack or the wrinkles a little bit so kind of a process of like she was she was making her journals quite quickly because she wasn't doing a lot of these extra things to them so uh, then when I started mine I wanted to I like to have a vintage look to mine, so it just turned into be like almost a month to, <laughs> to get it done, but I enjoyed making it. I tried a lot of different things that I hadn't really done before in this journal. So there's a little tuck spot here, and this hangs on the pocket. There's a little journal card stuck inside of there. goes inside. There's a lace pocket on the paper bag that has a tag inside here and this is a pocket on the paper bag but this has some lace paper doily a couple of journal cards and under the image has a some uh, gears and paper fasteners on it's another image in this the paper bag is folded up to create a pocket and I put a fabric pocket on. I stamped the edges and of the corners and put a little fabric behind it. This was a tag made out of the paper doily made a lace band on the back with a little journal card inside. Some gears up on top. This is another piece of the paper bag. This has these corner tucks of this image inside and then some of the paper that I added I also did the crinkling to it as well. <clears throat> There's a journal card in here, another coffee filter, some embellishments on, as an image under that. And it kind of has plain little stamping on the back. And you can write on the copy filters too. There's a little writing space in there. Some, this is an image from an old book I had. Kind of sized down the page. I thought the dog was really, really nice uh, image. There's another little journal card in here. Tuck spot. Another copy filter. There's a tuck spot down here. An old book page. And this is a, this is a little, this is two friends. This is on muslin, and this is the paper. Just this is kind of a journaling spot, and tucks in that pocket along with this journal card. There's a little tuck spot on the edge. This is another piece of the paper bag. There's some little tearing of some hearts down here. Paper fastened on. It says Inspire. Did some stamping. This is a little pocket. This little card goes in. Has a little um, die cut on it. And a journal card. It says um, Image glued on with this 
journal card inside. I think it's backed with some paper and sewn around the edges. Stamping. Tucks in there. This is another one of the little pages of the paper bag. I used just one paper bag completely up, so whatever sizes I ended up with, I used it as pages. There's little journal cards in here with the little ruffle on the bottom. Another journal page image. Some ruffling on the side. This has a journal card in this pocket. Some paper bag ruffle on it. Paper fastened together with this little snake oil ad. Kind of hangs over the pocket. It's kind of like a postcard size. Uh, this um, lace is like a sample lace. I got that from uh, someone sent me that. So I thought, well, I want to put that in there. It's kind of neat. So I sewed that on, and it was kind of floppy. I put this little tab on it, and it was still kind of floppy, so I put a little magnet inside so it would magnetize itself to this page and not... It was always seemed to be kind of falling down in there like that, so I didn't like that. But it creates a tuck spot for this journal page. It tucks inside there, and then it just closes onto the. Well, to get that all the way in there. There, it just kind of closes like that. There's a pocket with a tag inside here. This is just a piece of the stamped burlap. There's a journal page, journal card, the lace and embellished pocket. And over here we have another coffee filter pocket. Little bird stamped on muslin. A journal page inside here. And it's got an old image sewn on it. Creates a some sewn onto some paper. Another journal card in there. This is a piece of the wallpaper. This is a little piece of quilt cut into a heart. Some washi tape. Some cheesecloth. Kind of dyed the wallpaper so it wouldn't be so white. Another little piece of the Paper doily on the edge. And this is a pocket with a journal card inside. Kind of a, I guess you'd call it a recipe card size. This is a lace pocket. This is a muslin backed piece of paper. There's some uh, pieces of ephemera that are just paper fastened onto the page, and this creates a pocket. There's a little tag hanging on that pocket, a little tea bag uh, tuck spot down on the corner. This has a muslin pocket with a journal card inside with some embellishments and make it pretty. This page is just kind of plain. There's another journal card inside this tuck spot and gears up here. And it's another piece of the wallpaper, and this says love, and there's a little pin, and the heart charm, the journal card. I think this is a tea bag pocket. It's a piece of sheet music. I washi taped it on to the paper bag. Stamped it, um, stamping, and created this tuck spot with this journal card. Another one of the coffee filters. Empty tuck spot, journal card, it says notes. This is another fabric backed image with put on paper. Another journal spot in here. It says memories on the bottom. It says uh, Jibbit had done some of these where she put the uh, inside something inside the tracing paper this is wax paper it's a piece of fabric like this inside with the and I put one of the Tim Holtz children on the 
front. It talks about with a journal card. It says ideas. This is another journal page. And this has a bunch of pages to it. Tucked inside here. Some tearing of some pockets here. You can tuck little images in here. It's another. This is a tuck spot up here. Some places to write. Fabric embellished on the edge. A little bit of sheer and crocheted trim there. Another tab up here on this page. Wallpaper page. Spoon creates a pocket with his tag. This is another little journal spot here with some stamping. This piece of muslin on the edge here. Another page for for writing. Embellishments kind of match. This is a time card folded in half. Sewed around the edges, made a pocket, added a tuck spot with his children. And put this card inside the pocket for the tucks in here. Stamped on one of the pages. Another copy filter pocket. This is kind of a, I cut a circle out of the paper. And then I just kind of stuck a picture in there and a little bit of a word on the bottom stamped inside. A little collage, a little tab on the edge. An old lock for a tuck spot, some ephemera, a couple pieces of ephemera in here, tuck spots. Another journal page and a tag, embellishments. This was a old play money. I kind of copy dyed it and it had been ripped pretty bad so I used cheesecloth to repair it and it's just so delicate so I thought I'm going to put that in a journal <laughs> looks kind of cool and then a little stamp down there with some lace another journal card in, in this pocket here And another journaling place and for writing things down. A little tuck spot under the girl with a little fabric bow. Tucks in that copy filter pocket. This is another one of the little writing spaces with the muslin. Stamped muslin. Another little booklet in here for writing things down. And another couple journal spots, paper clipped together with some seam binding. Glue that on the edge. Things can be tucked under there. It's kind of this edge of the fabric that has all the wording on it. I thought that was kind of neat. And then this Angel's Fussy Cutout. She makes a tuck spot under this flap here for this journal card. And in the back I have some cardboard with some kind of painted the white on there to give it some interest and a stamp and a journal card in there with an old key. And this is the back with a little spot for writing tucked under the fabric pocket. And that's the back. So uh, her journal is just kind of a one signature and the handles were put back on the paper bag and then she just kind of tied, the, tied them shut, although mine ended up being a little bit different. Uh, I just I put the belt around it to secure it shut, and the belt is a pretty good size where you can, if your journal gets a little more full, there's room for expanding the belt. It's kind of a woven belt, so you really don't need any holes in it. Kind of glittery, gives it a little bit of. Jazz it up a little bit. So that is my journal share for today, and that will be listed on my Etsy shop. And um, 
I thank you for watching and I really appreciate all the comments and questions and um, I hope everyone has a nice day. Bye.